<laughs> Morning, everybody, over in the fellowship hall. What a great day to be in the house of the Lord. You know, God is in control. Despite what you might see on the 6 o'clock news and all that kind of stuff, God has His hand in this. And we feel His presence this morning, and we're going to praise His name. Well, just another reminder there for prayer request cards there, they're around and put them in the prayer box. And remember, God's got broad shoulders there, so get those prayer requests and those praises in. Brother Isaiah? Let's get started. Let's get to singing. All right. Friends, if you all would please stand in honor of our Lord and Savior. We're going to start off with hymn number two. Hymn number two, Holy, Holy, Holy. song of the day and that is as the deer many of you all should know this yep if not we're gonna learn it learn something new every day <laughs> uh, to be honest I have heard this song I don't know it all that well to sing it so we're all gonna be doing this together
take just a moment and in a single word or a short phrase mention who holy God is to you and for us this morning. God is Savior, Savior. Strength. Strength Lord Father, Father. Love. Love Loving Provider, Provider. Strength. Strength. Strength Almighty Faithful, Faithful. Amen. And, and good, trustworthy. trustworthy. This is the Lord we come to worship this morning. Amen to that. This is our Heavenly Father. We come into His holy presence. And so let's pray together. Precious Lord, You are our good, good Father. You are so good. You provide for Your people. You watch over our going out, our coming in. You are the Ancient of Days, yet the ever-present Lord in our lives. We can look to you and we can trust you in all things. Father God, our nation is hurting. This morning we pray Psalm 125 back to you as a reminder of just who you are and how you are working among us. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forevermore. The scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous, for then the righteous might use their hands to do evil. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, to those who are upright in heart. But those who turn to crooked ways, the Lord will banish with the evildoers. Peace be upon Israel. You are our precious Lord, Heavenly Father. This past week there have been those of our body of Christ here who, who have observed the anniversary of the death of one of their loved ones who are now with you in heaven. Holy Spirit, you have been the great comforter for them this week. This past week there have been those who suffered sickness or injury and, and you have been their great physician. And we intercede on their behalf asking for your helping arm, your healing hand to bless them and to help them. This past week, we have continued to look to you for our strength and protection. You will not be moved. Almighty God, may your Holy Spirit move among us today as we worship you. May we open our hearts and our lives to you. Show us your will, Father God. Show us your way. We will follow. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ the one who is the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Please. Each Sunday we have been sharing together and someone coming and sharing their story with us. And so this morning, uh, Bill Sheets is going to come and he's going to share his story. Bill is a deacon emeritus of our congregation, serving for many years as a deacon, and uh, he is now uh, in the role of, of uh, respected wise elder. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Good morning, friends and family. Uh, Brother J.W., would you lead us in prayer, please? Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you in uh, your name and Holy Spirit. Father, uh, we 
We just thank you that we can all be here in your presence. And Lord, uh, I just pray especially right now for Bill as he uh, gives his testimony, Lord, of what you've uh, shown him through the many things of his uh, Christian walk and as you teach us all. Father, just give him those words you have him to say. Give him that peace, Lord, because you're there. And uh, we just uh, thank you and we praise you, Father, in your holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, folks. Uh, I just love this church. Uh, some 62 plus years ago, I was sitting somewhere in that area. And I think the Holy Spirit grabbed me that day. Um, because I wasn't very good at getting up in front of people, and I still ain't. Um, but I, I was saved and baptized in uh, Elgin Blues Pond, uh, along with my, my father, my sister, um, and two cousins. And I, I know the McCubbins, Norma Gale, she was one of them, Norma Gale McCubbin. And uh, and from that day on, um, I wasn't a very good Christian, really. I I I, I just uh, lived my life and grew up and uh, and uh, probably I went to, we went to church in at uh, at Grace Bible in Columbia for many years. Uh, then I got met Colleen and got married. And we still went to Grace Bible. And one Sunday, she said, I think we'll go out to Grandview. So she even drove out here on a Saturday night to see how long it was going to take her to get here. <laughs> and uh, so from that day on, we've been here. And uh, Rob Cook Hudson met me right down the middle of that, uh, that hallway there. And... Uh, there's been some great people that's been in this church. Um, I graduated from high school in, in uh, 1963 and I joined the Navy right out of high school. But because I had a bad back and I still do, I uh, got discharged. And I look back at it as kind of an ironic if I hadn't have been discharged, I probably wouldn't have never met Colleen. And that little girl back there, and that little guy over there, wouldn't be here. In fact, the other day, my daughter said, I was a daddy's girl. Until Darren was born. <laughs> But, uh, and we've had some great people, like I said, come to this church. We've lost in, uh, in the last 35 years that we've been here. We've lost uh, Elgin and Marie, Rob Cook and Beulah, uh, Clarence and Francis. Uh, Fred and Chris lost a son. John and Christy lost a daughter. And uh, and then and then of course uh, in the last five or ten years, J.W. lost his his mom, his daughter, and his wife. Uh, Lee lost his wife Rhonda on June eighth, nineteen uh, two thousand thirteen. Uh, Sheila lost her husband. September of, uh, or no, what was it, May of this year, or last year, and then my wife died June 8th of last year, and since then, um, Wanda lost Eddie in September of this year, of last year, and uh, you know what all those people have in common? They're all Christians, and we'll see them one day. Um, see, there was one thing I wanted to say, and I. 
You know, I, somebody told me once that there was three things you uh, lose as you age. The first one is memory, and I forget the other two. <laughs> But thank you for listening to me this morning. I, I pray that I've touched your heart a little bit. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again, Brother Bill. We all appreciate that. <clears throat> Friends, our next hymn uh, will be uh, 328. 328. It's kind of a fun song. I know our choir's had fun with this. Um, we've sung it for you before, so I know it's one so that you all... So they'll take the lead, right? Yeah, you all don't take the lead on this one. <laughs> 328, Wonderful Grace of Jesus. Sufficient grace for even me, broader than the scope of my transgression, singing, greater than the sin and shame. Oh, the magnificent grace of Jesus, praise His name. Wonderful grace of Jesus. Transgressions.